Marvel Legends fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. We've got another Spider-Man 60 Amazing Years figure. This one based on the 90 Spider-Man cartoon. It's the Lizard. Marvel's Lizard, to be precise. Um, yeah, this is a cool looking figure. I was, I was really quite excited about this one. Um, I haven't had a Lizard figure since the Amazing Spider-Man Lizard, the live action one um, from probably close to 10 years, no, it was 2014, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's been a long time, but yeah, I love, I love this packaging, I think it looks great, I've seen some people do some really cool stuff, um, you know, it comes with the sort of moulded plastic, uh, trench coat, or lab coat, but people have replaced that with like a more ripped, um, fabric one, but yeah, I've been pretty, pretty pumped up about getting this figure, I really like the look of it, and, um, yeah, I'm just sort of going back through and picking up some of the some of the you know cheaper ones that I've, I've sort of missed over the last couple of years since they started this line. Um, because yeah, I, I, Spider-Man. I grew up on that cartoon. It was great. It still is great. I'll continually go back and watch episodes. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to cracking open the lizard and seeing what the figure's all about and how he works. And let's do it. All right, here we have the lizard out of the packaging, all of his accessories sort of in front here. So we'll go through one by one, obviously. The tail, not really an accessory, um, but wanted to sort of show it off separately anyway. It's a softer plastic, almost a, almost a rubber. Um, but yeah, it's obviously got the uh, bend of a wire, so you did the two holes there. I believe that's just to make sure um, there is air touching the metal of the wire, it stops it from um, Stops it from corroding and rusting inside just to have air to it, I think. I don't know. I might just be making that up. But yeah, it's flexible. Uh, super, super bendy, but it, you know, it probably does enough to uh, do what you want. Um, so we'll peg it to his bottom. He has a, he has a front back peg. Which that will just sort of punch in there. So that's cool. I guess, you know, you sort of bend that down and it gives him a little bit of extra, extra leverage for standing. Because that would make him a little back heavy, but that's cool. Does come with these two um, beakers, I guess, um, you know, for doing his chemistry and lab experiments and stuff like that. And they look really cool. I like they've included those. They look, yeah, they look nice. I like that they've included these accessories. Um, perfect if you've got a little laboratory display a lot of people do great dioramas with their marvel legends and um yeah maybe when i've got space one day I'll, i might do that myself but um yeah i, I like the, i like the inclusion of these two pieces i think that's really really good uh he does come with a fist for his right hand replacement he does just have an open hand and a very sort of sprawling open hand in his left hand for you know holding these things so that's cool. A couple of change, changeable hands. And then the head that I will probably be using is sort of tongue out, teeth bared, yellow eyes. I don't know. This one just looks better to me than the one that's on the figure. Um, it's more like a gecko than a lizard. Um, yeah, just the, the sort of lack of teeth. Um, you know, you can't really see in the mouth. You know, his tongue's painted. Um, but yeah, if it was, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is about this one, but uh, yeah, it's not quite as lizardy as I'd like. I think most people thought the same thing. I think they were calling him Kermit. <laughs> Which, you know, come on, it's not that bad. But um, yeah, this one's definitely, definitely the better option for me personally. So I'm gonna swap that over right now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll look at the figure as a whole. So that, that to me looks a lot better. They just done this head again, and uh, you know, with a tongueless or tongue embedded inside the head, that would have worked a lot better, I think. That's my opinion. That's cool. If you don't agree, that's fine too. So yeah, you know, no pin, no pins in the joints here for this one. This is nice. Look at these big humanoid lizard feet. It's fantastic. I like the way the coat sort of just drapes over the tail at the back. Ok, 
can sort of pivot that side to side a little bit. But yeah, it's the coat itself is a really nice sort of soft plastic. It's not too bad. A few little rips and tears down the back would have been cool, like they're done with the sleeves. Um, but that's nothing a bit of a knife can't do, or a pair of scissors just to chop some chunks out of it. If you so choose, of course, but... Sort of as a per the rest of the legs are pretty simple. He has ripped his pants down the bottom. So sort of just a black black top on. A little cool articulations so you can you can get him to sit on his tail. Look at that. No 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 no. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be a nicely posable figure there's no thought it might have been the butterfly joints in there but no it doesn't appear to be that's okay does have a neck joint in there as well as the ball hinge on the head so you get a good range of movement if you can have him crawling around you can get the head sort of right up there and then looking down as well so that's cool it's nice i like it I'm digging this figure, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. So yeah, I'm guessing this hand will hold the other one. No, maybe not. So yeah, this hand definitely ain't holding anything. This is gonna, you know, slap, slap Spidey, that one. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's all right. He's got one hand to hold stuff. That's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. We'll swap this one out for the fist just to one sort of fisty hand. Get ready to do some do some punching. But yeah, looking forward to sort of playing around with this guy a bit more. Just sort of you know, just sort of seeing how that coat works. The fact that it is split above the tail um, does give it a little bit more movement. It's not gonna restrict those legs. Yeah, like, I'm liking that. That looks good. I'm looking forward to sort of just sitting and playing with him for a little bit and, uh, you know, getting him down low. Again, that's sort of, that's probably where the jacket does sort of go a little bit uh, iffy. Um, I see why people were replacing them for the fabric one, which, which would be cool, I'll be honest, um, just to sort of get that to sort of sit as well. Wouldn't be hard to make one either. At least, you know, to replace this, I reckon that would be pretty good. But yeah, no, I'm, li I'm liking it. I dig it for what it is. Looks nice. I did just finish re-watching um, the, the Amazing Spider-Man. And that lizard design did grow on me. Um, but yeah, definitely a little bit more lizardy <laughs> is good. So we have Dr. Kirk Connors as the lizard. Really nicely done. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I, I think this is a pretty cool figure. I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm looking forward to sort of displaying him and setting him up and posing him up with Spider-Man. I reckon it'll look great. So yeah, please let me know what you think in, in the comments below. I appreciate your support and following me. Hope you're enjoying my, you know, sort of more frequent Marvel reviews, you know, in between sort of doing my normal Star Wars stuff. It's cool to get some Marvel stuff out there as I'm, uh, you know, once again, sucked into buying these figures just because they're just, they're so cool and they're fun and that's why I do it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time and uh, we'll see you on the next video.